Hey, what's up everybody? So today I'm gonna to work on making some tomato trellises out of this eight foot T-post. Some of this electrical conduit. This is three quarter inch. And these are eight foot T-post. I've already drove the two end ones in. Now I need to add the two middle ones. I put a string up there to keep everything straight. And then we'll put these inch and a quarter PVC fittings on top to hold that conduit in place. I've seen a, several YouTubers do this, so it looked like a pretty good setup, so I decided to try it this year. All right, so now I got the T-post drove in. Now it's time to put the conduit on. Bought these little connectors. Connect them together. All right, so I got the top part, the conduit all put in now. So now I'm going to, I'm going to, I've got these little tomato clips or uh, they're actually used in greenhouses. I'm going to use some melon wire and attach those to that conduit. And I'll show you right here. I'm not going to install all these today because right now I've got my tomato plants in these pots. So they're not really ready to set, but I wanted to get this trellis knocked out. So it's out of the way. Anyway, I'll show you how I'm, how I'm going to do that right now. All right, so I got these greenhouse hangers attached. As you can see, I just use that bell and wire to, to attach them. And so the way these things work is if the tomato plant wants to get up this high, you can actually lower those, lower the plants down with this spool. Um, but you don't really, you don't, I'm using these because I have them. You don't have to use these. You can just tie a piece of string to the top of that and just lower it all the way to the bottom. It would be just fine. Anyway, it's ready for some tomato plants. Okay, so I got those two rows knocked out. Pretty simple to do. I think it's gonna work pretty good. Um, if it, anybody can drive a T-post, if you can drive a T-post, you can set this up. Pretty easy to do. Also, another thing you can do on these, uh, where these connections are made, is just run like a self-tapping screw through that PVC pipe into that conduit. Um, I may actually, I'm probably gonna do that myself. I'll probably pre-drill them, uh, make sure that doesn't crack but I think it'd be better just to go ahead and put a screw in there I know some people don't but they also have their PVC or their uh, conduit coming out of this T a little bit further but I think it'd just be better if I just went ahead and put some self-tapping screws in there just kind of all those connections kind of hold it together so anyway thanks for watching